one, they said, Charlotte should dread. And without LJ, the Hornets were dead. Game two belonged to New York's men of blue, as an unlikely hero really came through. But game three would be played at the pace of a bee, something unnatural for Team Riley. Still up to the challenge was this group of Knicks, and Charlotte Hearts missed quite a few ticks. So the hive came alive with a terrible buzz, even from insects still sporting peach fuzz. The littlest bug was a threat to steal, and victory was looming for the men of Teal. Fans would applaud the final sting as Muggsy's shot accurately took wing. And now they believe they can even the score. It's the Knicks and Hornets in game four. is the NBA on NBC. The 1993 NBA Playoffs. Today, it's the New York Knicks versus the Charlotte Hornets. Morning against Ewing, and the Knicks control the opening tap. The same for Charles Smith. Oaks misses the outside shot. He did take it, but there was no hesitancy, but he missed. Here's Smith, who gets the first bucket of the game. It is Doc Rivers that looks ahead and gets the easy two. Gill gets a good bounce. And Gill off the front of the rim to tie the game at two. Pat Riley got right up after that miss and said, remember, we got a postman. Ewing went for the steal, missed it, which left morning open. As he's dropped right into Ewing Clem. They're going to make it difficult for him to receive. Gill with a steal against Oakley. He got it. Corners this afternoon. They say if you're struggling offensively, the defense can turn it around for you. There's Patrick Ewing with a strong move. His first two. Johnson draws the double team. Newman for three. I banked it through. Passing game offense for the Hornets. Kendall Gill. You're right, Steve. Maybe that's what he is needed to get going. He's hit all three of his shots. Double Ewing. And he makes it anyway. In game. Morning tries to answer Ewing's bucket. And Ewing got a piece. Rivers takes it the other way. The help Morning, he kicks it back out. Now the return pass. Ewing goes up and rolls it through. Patrick Ewing now with six of New York's points. Ewing gets the ball down on the box. And on in game three on Friday night, he was going away. He's turning into the middle as much as he possibly can. Picking up Bogues, lost it. But it comes to Starks for a three-point attempt. No good. Oakley's follow is there. Personal. Rivers with a strong move. It won't go. Ewing. No basket. No basket. Loose ball foul. Call to the Knicks. And a technical foul call. Patrick Ewing is livid. is now giving it to him. No caption needed for those comments. Hard screen and Doc Rivers is in the middle and the call is Ewing with the push. It was ever so gentle, but it was awfully obvious as he throws it down. He does not, and I mean, he is not happy with the call. And Steve Gabby has one of the quickest tees in the NBA. Wastes no time in letting Ewing know he's right on the line. 
Already off to a hot start at the high. Johnson posting up Oakley. Here's the entry pass. Quick spin. The reverse won't go, but a foul. What a quick move by the big man, Larry Johnson. Oakley picks up his second personal foul, and you can see that Johnson has more to say to him right now. This has been a war of wars that has been going on since game one. Now Bogues on the double. Blackman, they left him wide open. Kicks back to Newman, three-pointer. Rivers to Smith. And Johnny Newman has to react to that. Herb Williams on to guard Alonzo Mourning with Ewing exiting the game. That'll be goaltending. Credit the basket to Larry Johnson. Ewing in foul trouble. Williams over Mourning. A pretty shot. The veteran schools the rookie. Off right back to Oakley. Williams. That has been again the storyline for the New York Knicks. Gill open off the screen. He's found that shooting touch. He's four for four today. Bogues in a hurry. Curry made the fake, launched from outside, and now he's hitting. The Hornets get their outside attack going, expelling Ewing for the Knicks. Williams has six points. Oh, reverse slam by Morning. The thing you have to like about Morning is when he's close to the hoop, he throws it down. There's no fooling around with it. Blackman. Rolando Blackman. Morning dribbling against Williams, gives it up to Bennett, penetrates, and scores! Gaddison, only a 60% free throw shooter, misses two. Curry battles for the rebound, and Bennett comes up with it. Gaddison on the slam. Good rest system here at the hive, and the fans really get it going. Anthony with a pretty move. Look at Bennett after he dunked that pass. Nearly hit him in the head. Curry's fall away. Oh, a tough shot. Williams. Clutch bucket again. Herb Williams. Double on Bennett. Gaddison just beats the clock. Doc Rivers, seven points, five assists. Kendall Gill with eight points, but in early foul trouble. The matchup of the two backcourt stars at the end of the first quarter. So far, the Knicks fighting off the insects. David Wingate with his first appearance, and there's Curry. He's had the hot hand. Del Curry. Two early fouls on Patrick, plus a technical. Anthony. They dared him to take the outside shot, but he made it. Anthony, that's where you're going to do it. Outside, in. Bennett with great penetration to find Johnson open for the easy one. It's through the double team. And Hubert Davis, a star emerging for the Knicks, the rookie from North Carolina. Missed through the first three quarters in game three. Gaddison is no match for Ewing. Mason with a rebound. The reason that Gaddison misses a lot of shots, he's got a hesitation at the top inside Ewing. Patrick Ewing deep and is intent on turning in. No fadeaway jump shot so far for Patrick Ewing. Gets one inside, and then he's got a smaller Tony Bennett on him. Just comes over the top with two hands. Ewing and the Knicks on fire. Double, and they're trying to double, not necessarily trying to get a steal. Great steal by Curry. Took it away from Davis and laid it through. Just turned it over the last two possessions. Curry with a dump to Gaddison. Shot blocked by Ewing going, but they got to handle the ball better and Morning's got to get some control of himself. Not his own. The ball fake and Ewing again with a block. Wingate to Morning. And this time a foul. Would it be on Ewing? That would be three. No. It's called on Mason. Anthony Mason with a foul. For Charlotte. Morning back checking Ewing and a great shot as Ewing went upstairs to drop it through. He has a dozen. Ewing, Morning has a Mason on his hip, but Ewing gives some help.
no. And he blocked it. Green's follow won't go. Rebounded by Anthony Mason of the Knicks. Morning tried to get this one after Ewing let it go, but he got it up high enough and quick enough to score, and Ewing has dominated the matchup. From the high of the Charlotte Coliseum, game four of this best of seven series. John Starks, his first field goal of the game. He'll short Ewing skies for the rebound. Quick pass to Starks. Gale blocked it. Ewing in the paint, calling for the ball. Oh, he has been unstoppable. An MVP performance by Patrick Ewing. Charlotte. Stolen by Oakley. The blue-collar man does it again. It leaves Starks open. This one. Good fake. Johnson draws the foul. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what did he say yesterday? He told us, he said, I may be only 24, but I got a lot of tricks. Here's one of them. Good deep post position. This time he gets a free throw to go in. Smith still can't buy one. Oakley with great work to Ewing, and then Bogues commits the foul. That'll be three on Muggsy Bogues. In game three. Trying to get it inside the morning. Triple team, he scored anyway. Gill. Confidence back for Kendall Gill. Johnson backs in Oakley. Fall away jumper. Yes. Team. Wide open, Oakley. Fouled by Morning. Morning with a quick recovery to commit the personal foul. He points six of the half. Trying to free up to Tony Bennett or Dale Curry. Johnson got it away, but off the mark, and the first half will come to an end. Led by their all-star Patrick Ewing, the New York Knicks have controlled the first half. At the end of two quarters, the Knicks with their MVP candidate taking the sting out of the Hornets. New York 58, Charlotte 51. Bob Costas from New York in a moment. Johnson, triple team. Back rim to Starks. Smith hustles down court for the jam. Taken by Charlotte. The Charlotte Hornets are so conscious of trying to get inside that they forget to get back and Charles Smith making a living being the man on the closing end of the break. Now, if you're the Knicks, you go right to Patrick Ewing with a predictable result. 15 foot shots that they're capable of making, overpassing and the other way they're not defending Ewing who has just ruled the paint, gets another two. When a player's having a good day, you can't let him catch the ball that deep and close to the hoop. Morning, of course, has the foul problem. He's allowing Ewing to go freely across the middle and paying the price. Ewing's only missed once this afternoon. The so thought was so successful in game three was pressure. They get some pressure and a turnover this time. Bogues pulls up and scores. Body, that's what happens, a turnover. Gaddison fouled hard by Oakley. Pick and roll to Gaddison. Now Gill. Anthony better able to handle the quickness of Bogues with some quick moves of his own. And Muggsy Bogues picks up his fourth foul. But I was doing that against Doc Rivers, and you didn't call it. Now you decide when Greg Anthony comes in the game to call it. Can't believe it. That really hurts him because he can't afford to get five. He's really the guy that makes it happen. And Anthony rubbing a little salt in the wounds by handing him the ball and patting him on the butt. Gill tried to block Smith, instead gets the foul. Holds and a rebound. Johnson. 
Maxie Bogues pushing the ball, and Larry Johnson finishing the play has them on their feet. So in two minutes, they come from double figure down to single, to single and there's 5.31 to go in the quarter. Momentum swinging toward the Hornets. Well, you can see that the, the Knicks are now forced to set up deep and against the clock. Ewing, tough shot. And Anthony found him with a pass. Curry. Misfires a three-pointer. Ewing, quick outlet to Anthony. Bob, wide open Smith. Anthony with two consecutive assist. Ewing. Why not? It's one of those days. Certain Hornets retain it. In game three, Patrick Ewing hoisted up 31 shots, and very few of them were inside. Inside to Johnson over Mason. That'll be a goal 10. I don't think it was going to go in. Bad move by Ewing. Plus a foul on Mason of New York. They are looking for some divine intervention, and maybe it's going to come uh, after this goal 10 by Patrick Ewing. The ball will not be nearly as great with Vogue out of the game. Tony Bennett has replaced him. Anthony shoots over Bennett and scores. Wingate. Missed the layup. Johnson on the follow. Davis stripped away by Curry. Curry from Johnson is fouled by Anthony. Flagrant foul. It'll be two and on the side. They get a good steal from Dale Curry that knocked the ball loose, and then Larry Johnson got the ball in the middle, made a good decision with the pass, a quick diagonal pass right at the rim. Larry Johnson is the guy that's getting it done. They got to try to find a way to get the ball in his hand. And it for three. <laughs> with another clutch hoop, just like the first half. Crowd yelling for a shot from Curry. Top fall away, won't go. And the third quarter comes to an end. But Larry Johnson has the Hornets swarming. They pull back within six points behind 18 from LJ. At the end of three periods in Charlotte, the New York Knicks 80, the Charlotte Hornets 74. Anytime they get a chance, they're taking the ball to the rim. Wingate came up short on that one. Williams and Anthony out scrapping for the ball. New York done a much better job of getting back on defense than has Charlotte today. Williams rejects Morning's shot. All right, thank you very much, Tom. Obviously, Georgetown coach John Thompson with a rooting interest, or do you have a rooting interest for either Patrick or Alonzo, your former pupils? Well, I'd like to see both of them do well because they've worked hard, but we go on the seniority system at Georgetown, so we have to go with Patrick right now. Alonzo's struggling a little bit today, but what does he have to do to get back into the game? I think he's having more trouble with his back than he's letting on. Uh, Todd seems to be getting into more transition. I don't think they can play with the Knicks and I have thought they have to press and run in order to beat them, I think. All right, the words from the coach. Back to you, Tom. A shot that Morning can make, but they're going to be working against the clock. Gill on the way to the hoop. And one. Almost threw it away. Gill lets it fly. Morning with a tough board, and he got it. Ewing. Pogues leads the break, three on two. Johnson, no basket, missed it anyway, and an offensive foul on Larry Johnson of Charlotte. Bad pass, Gill has Curry. Followed by Johnson. The game's tied. Chris chases it down. Ewing, got right by Morning to the rim. against the Celtics. This is his best semifinal series performance. There's John Starks with a quick hoop for the Knicks. Morning made a good defensive play. Bo 
Rhodes through traffic is fouled by Rivers. <laughs> Tackled is what he was. <laughs> a few minutes and 26 seconds. They've got momentum. They don't have to try to make it all up in one play. Big block by Ewing. Starks to Ewing for the slam. Patrick Ewing, 28 points as he threw that one down with authority. Once again, the Knicks weather the Hornets storm. Inside morning, double team. Put it up anyway, and Ewing fouled him. No. They say jump ball. He's got it. down and he was surrounded by four blue jersey Nick players he'll shoot two Ewing powerful move that won't count 24 second violation New York Johnson and Johnson has an isolation against Mason Ewing comes to help and leaves Bogues open for the shot Rebounded by Johnson. Four on one, Charlotte. Gill is fouled. Four on one, John Starks trying to move in underneath. You get another angle, Starks trying to hope that he's there in time. Ball goes flying out of Gill's hand. Ewing and Morning having a war inside. Larry Johnson trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Spins, turns, fires. Yes! Larry Johnson had the same shot to win it in game three, ties it this afternoon. How did he off the double team? They're going to try to spread the floor and get Hubert Davis in a position to where he may be able to get a shot. There's Davis against Gill. Shot clock to five. Blackman. Yes! Charlotte only has a 20-second, and Bogues is calling for it as he pushes the ball up court. 20-second timeout is all Charlotte had left. The clock shows 3.9 as the much-maligned Rolando Blackman. The papers in New York were saying he might be the forgotten man because of a subpar performance the last couple of games. Comes to the top of the key and hits. Blackman has been a huge clutch man throughout his career, but has not been able to perform those miracles for the Knicks. But today, cool as ever, Blackman knocks that one down. They got to beat you with a shot or win the game. Both lost it. Point two left as Ewing picks up the loose ball, and New York will go back to Madison Square Garden with a 3-1 lead. Muggsy Bogues holding his head in despair. Tried to penetrate and lost it. Trying to come through, lost control of the basketball. Ewing picks it up. The reaction from Stark. Well, the young Hornets kept swarming. They had a chance, but it's Charles Oakley and the Knicks that believe now as they head back to New York with a three games to one lead. 94-92 is the final score and the clutch shot, the game winner, off the hand of the veteran from Kansas State, Rolando Blackman.